What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to show you some of the new features found in Android 2.2. You may also hear it called Froyo. It follows Google's sort of dessert themed updates. The first one we saw was Cupcake for a C, then we saw Donut Eclair Froyo with an F. So sort of D, E, F, and we'll see G and all the rest of the desserts as Google starts kicking out more updates. So let's jump into a feature that I think was really, really needed. We now have new shortcut widgets on the home screen, so you can jump right to the dialer, go right to your applications, or go right to the web. Really nice, happy to have them there. Uh, you also have a new tips widget, which you can delete very easily. That sort of shows up when you first flash the device. When you want to delete something, those down below go away, and the trash can shows up. So the next thing that we have is now Flash 10.1. It actually doesn't come on the ROM when your phone gets it. You actually have to download the beta from the Android market. Let me show you how Flash works here on Android 2.1 because it actually works pretty well. So I've got now some Flash games queued up here. I'll just pick one. You can see some Flash content playing right there. Go ahead and just pick a random game. We'll see how things look. It's like Just like all Flash, you still get pop-ups, uh, which can certainly be a bit on the annoying side. So we'll go ahead and X out of that. And let's start the game. Just so you can get a sort of a, a feel of how Flash content works on here. Um, video actually is much smoother than we saw on, say, the HTC Incredible or other Flash enabled devices. This isn't Flash Lite, this is Flash 10.1. You can see Flash things here. You can double tap. If you rotate it, oftentimes it'll rotate with you, and sometimes it'll even go full screen depending on whether or not it's been formatted for mobile. You can see things are actually going very smooth and surprisingly playable. You can actually use Flash now on a mobile device, something that's really, really nice. So you can see things are just sort of playing like normal. So let me go ahead and jump out of this. Go ahead and quit that. So you have a cool couple other uh, sort of neat features here found in 2.1. Uh, the first and probably one of the most pronounced is browser speed. Uh, browser speed is definitely improved. There's some new rendering engines that are being done. I'll give you a demonstration though. It's sort of hard to appreciate the speed increase uh, if you haven't seen the speed increase on the other devices. So we'll go ahead and load up. We'll pick Techno Buffalo. Go back to the web. And I'll show you how this works. This is a pretty fast Wi-Fi. It's sort of, again, not really fair to compare it to something else. But just so you can see it. There it is, Techno Buffalo pops up. We'll go ahead and let it load, and things do load very quickly. So we'll go ahead and launch the site. And I'd say on average, it's about a second to a second and a half faster than I would see on the Nexus One with Android 2.1, the previous build. So content loads very fast, and you sort of get your same uh, multi-touch that you had before. But things work, and things work very well. Uh, one of the other really handy features and things I think your people are really going to like is in settings. Let me show you what we got here. We jump on into settings, go to wireless networks. And you now have tethering and portable hotspot. So for those of you that don't know, tethering is essentially using your phone's internet connection and sharing it with your computer. So if you're out on the road and you have your laptop with you and you don't have internet, you can plug your phone in and use it for your internet connection. It also has something else cool called portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, not all phones are going to get this portable Wi-Fi hotspot, but what it does, it's pretty self-explanatory, it turns your phone into a Wi-Fi access point. So actually, it turns your cellular data, kicks it out as Wi-Fi. Actually, up to eight people can connect to it at once. Certainly, the more people that connect, the less fast your speed's going to be. But it does work, and it works really well. So you've got some decent amount of settings here. Go ahead and turn this on. You can see what it looks like. Takes a little bit of time. You can see it says turning on, sort of grayed out down below. And about 10 or 15 seconds, you are now kicking out Wi Fi. See the little icon in the upper left hand corner letting you know that it's working. You can check out what some of the settings are. Pretty self explanatory. You can configure it. You can set a password if you'd like, or not set a password and just leave it open. Uh, really is very handy. So let me go ahead and turn that off. And let's continue the tour. Um, the camera feature is something else that's been updated here with Android 2.1. I'll show you what that looks like. We'll go ahead and launch the application and jump on into camera. Uh, navigating the camera I thought was a bit clumsy on Android 2.1. You had to use two hands. Uh, here on 2.2, they've actually optimized it for one-handed use. You actually take your finger, you roll over, you can get all these options. Now you can do it right as you're taking your picture. You can see that you've got white balance. You've got your zoom right there, flash. 
where you want to store it to and uh, some focus modes. You've got a really decent amount of other things that you can do here. And speaking of camera, something else has been enabled. The Nexus One, at least particularly, has an LED flash. That LED flash will now work when you are in video capture mode. So if you're in low light situations and you need more light, this is going to work perfectly for you. Go ahead and jump back to the home screen and let's keep going on. So you now also have some new search functionality. So you've got kind of a new Google logo there. If you click it, you can now search uh, Google, which you sort of really searches everything on your phone, um, the web, apps, or contacts. You now I sort of get a universal search. So if you just want to do a Google search on the web, you go ahead to web. If you want to search the applications, you don't have to jump now into Android Marketplace, or if you want to search your contacts. And speaking of Android Marketplace, you can now update your applications all at once. You don't have to do them all individually, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, there's also some new features for those of you using Exchange Service, Calendar Sync, and things like that now work just better. And uh, soon there will be a new online marketplace where you can go ahead and manage all of your Android applications and actually send them right to the device from there. Uh, but that has not been launched yet. So I guys, hope you enjoyed this sort of quick overview of Android 2.2 called Froyo. Look for it on your Android device coming soon. We've seen that it's going to be coming to obviously the Nexus One here. Droid and look for devices like the Droid Incredible to get it soon as well. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.